Okay, so we're still in our Tuit company database, and here I'm going to show you something about showing or hiding particular fields in queries when we create our queries. Now, here is a query called Consultants in Johannesburg. Consultants in JHB. If I run the query, you will see I've got their name, their phone number, and their email address. Now, the query is called Consultants in Johannesburg. So we can deduce or assume that these are people in Johannesburg. If we look at the actual design of our query, you can see all the fields are there. The very last field is the sales area with the criteria of Johannesburg. But you'll notice we don't see it when we actually run the query. It's because we don't need to see it. I mean, it's kind of a little bit it's overkill if you have that. It's like, well, it's called consultants in Johannesburg, so obviously they're in Johannesburg. So what we do in this situation is we just use in this row that says show, we just take the little tick box off so that it doesn't show when we run the query. We still need this field. We still need the sales area field with this criteria in order for the query to work. We just don't have to show it when we run our query. So please keep that in mind with other queries that you're going to be designing. You might need a field in order to use it for the criteria or to calculate something, but you might not have to show it. So just be aware of that. This is where we set that on or off over there.